Hello and welcome to my chapter 20 guide. In this guide, I'm going to go over basic map tactics for the chapter, as well as show some specific things you can do to make this easier. Now there's a few ways to deal with this thing. So this enemy has entrap and entrap can kill you. The easiest way to deal with this enemy is to use Len and to use Astra Storm from really far away on a unit with high strength that can one round this. That's the easiest way to deal with it. Another way to deal with it is you can have Hortensia or another staff user use Silence, and that's what I'm going to be doing in this run because that's pretty available. Now the opening, Gris is usually here or here, and I think he can also spawn on this side. But he's usually on the right side as far as I know. So as long as you don't go over here, you won't trigger him, and he won't teleport around and be annoying, because that's like the main gimmick of the map, is that he attacks you and then teleports to a different location. So what we're going to be doing is killing these, killing this, and then tanking this to let it approach us. I also make sure if you have any tanks, they don't get killed by the mage, so I'll just move my tank over. Alright, so these guys are very fast. They have high, pretty good avoid rates. They're 34 speed, so you're probably not going to double them. So what I'll do is I will poke one with PK Thunder. So we'll start there. The debuff. Alright, we got a PK Thunder. <laughs> I made a soundboard because at some point I was debating on if I should start streaming or not. Alright, and then we're going to just kill these. Alright, so Panette. Alright, she doesn't die if she misses, so we'll go for it. I put her on Paladin. I'm trying it out. It's decent. It's definitely not as much damage as Warrior. Berserker would be better if its cap wasn't so low. Alright, then we'll just continue moving up. Actually, she's a speed taker, so I want, I want her to last hit. So we'll send in Chloe. To break. Pretty bad accuracy, actually. These dudes are very dodgy. That's unfortunate. Yeah, Swordmasters are some of the more troublesome trucks, we'll say. That is a Thomas the Tank reference, if you're wondering. Okay. Maybe we get a Sandstorm. Alright. Ivy should be able to last hit this. I'm going to make sure Gris isn't over here. Alright, so Gris isn't over here. Great. So that means he's over here. I don't think he can spawn on the left side. In all my in all my runs of this map, he's always one in one of these two tiles. But this map, honestly, like once you understand it, it's not that bad. Alright, we increased her Bulganon accuracy, so that's pretty good. And then for this guy, he is an axe user. So I'm just going to use a Leer. This will break him. I might get a crit as well. Nope. Probably have Hortensia kill this. I doubt this guy can kill her. Yeah, he doesn't deal enough damage. And she's fast, so... Alright, so she can kill this. Actually, Anna should go for it. Because we need money. Money is good. In this game. So we're going to go for money. Alright. 33 luck. Alright, so 1 and 3. We can just start. I'm going to dance my armor. There aren't that many mages on this map. So after you get to a certain point. Like once you get to around here. There's not really too many mages. So you can actually reliably tank with physical. I think there's like a mage. Maybe in here. Maybe over here. We'll go over all the stuff. Alright, then Hortensia will go this way. And then Marin will push up this way. Oh, we aggroed Gris. <laughs> he was in that tile. <laughs> Alright. That actually, I might be dead now because of that. Surprisingly, I tanked him. You don't want to aggro him, though. That's bad. You do not want to aggro him. Yeah, he always, it changes his spot. Sometimes he's on the northern tile, sometimes he's on the southern tile. All right, so let me go back to when Alir attacked. We can just tank the thing on, on uh, 
a fourth layer. It's like, what the hell? <laughs> Where's the name? Yeah, so he's he's here. Sometimes he will be here, though. So it, it changes between these two spots, as far as I know. Uh, so what we can do is just, like, chill out. So like, go this way. You don't want to aggro him early. It makes the map so much easier, because then you don't have to worry about him teleporting in and killing you. I feel like this game has a lot of these weird things in there. Where you're, like, severely punished for playing the game as intended, but then when you play it not as intended, it's much easier. So, that seems to be the case in Engage. Alright, so she can throw a spear. I do have to be mindful of the dude over here. But Gris will not move, so he'll attack you if you're within range. So as long as you're not within range of him, you'll be fine. Alright, and then what I like to do here is a bonded shield strat. Uh, make sure you toggle this so you don't stand within range of it and get entrapped. So you want a bonded shield like right here. You can also use tanks. Tanks can be fine. So, alright, so we'll just sit here. Ivy should be fast enough to sit here. She won't get doubled by things. She can start attacking stuff. Looks like she procced. Yeah, so this is really good for just pulling these enemies in, pulling some of these enemies in. There's a lot of enemies in here, in the center, in here. There's some in here. There's a few in the center, and there's some, like, here. So most of the enemy forces are kind of in this area, which is useful to know. Now, the thing about this map, the only thing that's pressuring you to be fast are killing these thieves. And what they do is they run up, loot both chests, run back down, and go in here. So if you do not care about killing these thieves you can let them get the items now the items are worth a lot of money so i do kind of recommend getting them but if you would rather not do that you don't have to all right so let's rotate hortensia up she'll heal someone she's going to be our silencer the silence allows you to slow push the lucina bonded shield up safely otherwise you get entrapped and she'll just pull like whichever unit can easily be killed so you have to kind of be mindful of that all right, so we have an axe user, so let's send Marin in. She can tank the mage. She can slap this dude. She needs an engraving, unfortunately. I usually have one on her. I don't know why she doesn't have an engraving, but it's whatever. She's still effective. All right, and then Anna can get this kill. Anna has bad items this playthrough. This playthrough, somehow, I made a lot of like weird mistakes, even though I'm running good units. Like, my team is decent. There we go. Starting to get some gold. All right, she needs to get out because that one dude is approaching. We're going to push our Corrin up. So we can flame as needed. But you want to tank the enemies. So you don't have to use Bonded Shield. You just need to tank these enemies and draw them in. And you just have to do that safely. So the reason why I call out Bonded Shield is because it's easy to use. Like everyone, like you always have it. Unless you're doing a ringless run for some reason. All right, so she can move up. All right, I'm not going to be too crazy here. I'll move her here, why not? The thief won't attack you. Thieves don't attack you if they're looting. If they're looting, they're not shooting. That is the key phrase that I use all the time on this channel. All right, so here's Chloe. Just, oh my god, she got a crit. <laughs> she would have put him at, like, one shot. There we go, here's another guy. This is why this is good. You just draw in stuff out of the darkness safely. And as long as your bonded shield is either on a Chi Adept or um, like it's flying and you're using like a flyer or a cav and you're using it on other flyers or calves, you'll be fine. Okay, so we'll kill this guy. We should be out of range of Gris now. She's laughing at him. <laughs> Ooh, good level up. Good level up. Fantastic. Yeah, so he's like here. So one, two, three, four, five. He actually might be able to hit her, to be honest. I'm just gonna pulse that. I'm gonna let that I'm gonna let it approach further. Cause I don't I don't trust. I don't trust like that. <laughs> I'll let it get in deeper. 
Okay, and then Anna. I guess Anna could have gotten a kill there. And gone for some gold, but whatever. Okay. So we'll kill these guys. Ideally. <laughs> she has, like, just a little bit too low of damage to kill them. Swordmasters are some of the more annoying enemies to kill in the game, I find. It seems to be the case in every Fire Emblem. They're just too fast. Way too fast. Alright, so we'll hex them. You can move the bonded shield up too. You don't have to stay here. Oh, we don't even kill it. Dang, dude. Everyone just does 24 damage. <laughs> exactly 24 damage. Alright, she can move up. She's a tank, so I don't think there's mages really. Alright, as long as that one attack hit, that's fine. We can kill this now. So there's still enemies approaching. Bonded Shield helps thin the numbers though. And with this darkness map, you're really just looking to get in safely and not die. Alright, so for Timera, I'll put her on... I guess she could go on Rider's Bane. I think this might be a tank though. Yeah, it's a great knight. <laughs> She's gonna deal like no damage. Alright, then let's move... Hortensia up. Because she's going to be silencing soon. Remove the bonded shield up, should be fine. Okay. There's the mage. Now we're definitely out of Gris's range. That's the key. Okay, so we'll kill this now. Just making sure I don't die on counterattack. Oh yeah, I'm just, I just realized Anna doesn't have a staff. <laughs> she was on... Uh, I do feel like she was better on Mage Knight, but I switched her back to Sage for ranged nuking, so probably could have been better. All right, so here's the big idea. All right, so silence range. All right, so that's silence range. So we need to get Hortensia to like here or even just dance her. Yeah, let's put her here. Canter on your dancer is huge. You you can easily get it. All right, and then from here, I just want to be at like max distance. All right, so it's almost there. So like here. Okay, so 50% chance isn't that good. Let's see if we get it. All right, we got it. If you don't, you can heal or initiate combat. All right, now she can canter back. And then we can move up. So I can bonded shield her. I'm pretty sure nothing can really hit her here. I'm going to have Timera just light this up. All right, now we're moving the bonded shield in more. The thieves haven't gotten to the chest yet. And if we silence this again, you can also dance in silence if the silence fails. So like if you just get her within range, that can be an option. But at this point, we're advancing. I'm just fixing Panette's speed here. She should be able to move in, I think. Yeah, she should be safe to move in. There's a bunch of wolf knights, so be aware. Yeah, there's some nice items. Rescue staff, brave bow. I would say you want to kill the thieves. Ah, oh, he breaks, that's right. That's fine. All 
Oh, there is a mage. <laughs> yeah. They do sneak in. They sneak in mages into a lot of these mobs, so. So we would be fine if not for that. Okay. Yeah, I'm thinking of after this area, it's safe to push a tank in. So let's be a little bit more cautious. I don't think they can hit her here. So we'll still hold. Let's just skip this. All right. So you should end up with something like this. Now these guys kind of appear out of nowhere. They're over here. So that's a thing. Now luckily for us, we can just do something like popcorn. Oops, I don't want to drag in vain. I actually want to just attack. So we'll freeze these just in case we need it. I should be able to kill most of this stuff though. So that freezes both of those. Now this guy, what are you, Great Knights? All right, so he's a Great Knight. These will be easy to kill. Now Hortensia has to do her magic again. Because the Entrap guy can Entrap again, so let's go for this. All right, we got it. Okay, and then I'm going to kill whichever one of these. All right, so probably try to kill one of these. If we get a sandstorm, he dies. Alright, so no sandstorm. Unfortunate. She can't quad yet. She's still she's still a baby. Alright, and then easily kill. This guy should suicide, so I don't even have to attack him. However, I do want to kill this. Probably Twin Strike here. Yeah, Twin Strike with Rapier is lethal. Why do we repeat our mistakes? All right, Anna will just kill one of these guys. Now I can bonded shield. I want to kill these mages just because they're kind of annoying. This one's frozen though, so this one's fine. Just this one needs killed. Unfortunately, I don't have canter on this team. I still can kill this though. We can do like a little mage battle over here. We got a grasping void, so that just one rounded him. Pretty ideal. Now, I can Leaven Sword this. So we'll take it. <laughs> then we pop Bonded Shield. And then all we have to do is kill this guy. Because this is frozen, and this guy can't really damage her, so she can actually dive in. Or even just poke this. But we want to kill that so it doesn't kill Hortensia. I think I'll dance Marin. Oh, he doesn't have quality time. <laughs> I'm used to my units having quality time. All right, we do have to watch out for this guy. And she does not have canter. She could, she actually might die just from being low enough. Let's see. She dodge? Nice. All right. I could have danced a mage, like Anna would have been able to kill that. Okay. All right, let's see what the wolf goes. Oh wait, she's next to a bonded shield. <laughs> she's fine. She'll be fine. Yeah, they grab both items. So silver blade's worth, I think, 4K. Secret book is really good for a lot of units.
Interesting. So they're flanking around that way. These wolf knights are actually pretty annoying to deal with. They're very fast, so if your team isn't fast enough to tank them with bond shield, I would just recommend just letting the thieves go and just playing the map really slow. Because it can be pretty sketchy. Alright, so this guy, Paladin. I find that enemy Paladins are quite annoying to kill. Alright, so we're out of Bonded Shield, but we have this. So we can pretty much just deal with these by dancing Corrin here. So let's make sure we're within with range. So I'm just going to poke them. Thunder. You can recharge your Bonded Shield. Keep in mind the Entrap is now, like, it's active every turn. So you have to keep silencing it. It's probably better just to kill this. But I'll show I'll show doing the harder thing. All right, and then we'll debuff this, freeze it. All right, so now all these enemies are frozen. I really just need to kill this. I'm gonna kill as many things as possible though. Like I'm not just gonna leave these alive. We'll get our revenge. All right, so she needs to freeze again. I do wanna kill this first just to Allow her to escape. I'm gonna pop Byleth here, just to get the range. Just to move Anna out of the way. They seem to be pushing, or at least some of them seem to be pushing, like wrapping around, so. Some strength. Standard Anna stuff. She's known for her strength. All right. Retribution is due, I agree. Now she can probably kill this guy. Yeah, she can brave axe this. Here we go. She just has to hit. Oh, there's a crit. Alright, that works. Alright, and then Chloe is just gonna kill this guy. All right, and then Timera. I could go for a high risk play here. She can throw a spear. You just have to clean up these enemies. So however you need to do that. Yeah, they always mix in like one mage so that if you throw a tank forward, they die, <laughs> which I think is actually really funny. Cause then you have to like know every single enemy mage position. Now I could, well, I don't think I could kill that. It's too tanky. I actually might be able to get entrapped at this point as long as like there's nothing here. I think there's stuff here though. So we'll still, we'll play it safe. All right, then she needs to heal badly or be crazy and go for a kill. If I get a sandstorm, it dies. So let's go for it just for fun. This is completely unnecessary risk, but we'll do it. There we go, sandstorm. Two sandstorms. <laughs> Alright, and then she can go over here. Big damage on Marin. You were a worthy opponent. Alright, let's see if I can get it here. That's too far away. All right, so we did miss. We got a level up, though. <laughs> we missed, but we got a level up, so that's cool. Uh, all right, so if you do miss, you can manipulate the RNG. All right. <laughs> 
good old good old RNG manipulation. It's all you need, really. All right, unfortunately, she's gonna be in a bad position, uh, but we can do one of these just to be safe. Kind of body block. All right, then we'll whack this. Can't miss 100% as far as I know. So what I did there to manipulate that hit was I went back before Marin attacked. And because Marin hasn't attacked yet, the RNG was different. So just re-rolled it. All right. So we have Bonded Shield again. We got these guys. Now what I can do, I can start to poke this. This isn't going to be big damage, but we'll still put some damage on it. All right, and then Hortensia needs healed, funny enough, so we're going to do one of these. All right, and then I believe if there's an enemy on here, it can't do much to her. Unless it's, like, a melee enemy. Like, she's pretty much safe as long as they don't have melee dude, or I'm sorry... As long as she can't get hit by melee. They don't have like archers and stuff. There's like warriors. I think there's like a warrior or two up here, but down in this area, there's not. All right, so what we can do now, we can get engaged. Bonded shield. I'm just gonna move the team up. Use some healing items. Prepare to dive in. Actually, I could probably dive in right now. I don't know that she can make it. Time Arrow would be the one dive again. Let's see. She can get dance. Yeah, she can make it, actually. She can canter out, too. All right, so Time Arrow is going to dive. She is lethal without Sandstorm. We're going for it. I will protect you. <laughs> what? I will protect you? You just killed a guy. All right, so now we have a full and trap, which is kind of cool. And we can start pushing over to get the other items. So you kind of want to play, like, basically you're playing, like, thief defense. So you can see, or actually this is an enemy, but they're going to be, like, here. So you have, like, one or two turns to go catch them. This one's easiest to kill because of the starting position, so you don't have to push near Gris. So that's the easier of the two to get to. They do have pass, so you can't body block them. Uh, let's try. Let's let's wait here with a killer axe. All right, I definitely don't want to waste the physic there. All right, we'll just move in. All right, there's some halberdiers. There's enemies, like, just above there, so be aware of that. Yeah, they're pushing. All right, there's the thieves. Yeah, so it actually might be dangerous to kill this one. Now, you can freeze them. That's a thing you can do. So if you can reveal it, you can freeze it. The only thing that's troublesome is fight like getting over here like you can do like a warp or something this is kind of a more safer way to do the map uh there's a brave bow and a dex book on like one guy so i usually do get it but in this case for the guide i don't think i want to show super crazy things <laughs> because that would be potentially bad because like i don't know what your team is you know all right so we'll freeze these dudes We'll at least get one of the thieves free, like easily. You can you can get the other thief. It's just you have to be more aggressive, and you'll have to run like crazier strats. All right. So for example, if I bonded shield here, Understood. bring Marin in. I'm just trying to reveal darkness tiles. To 
create a path. All right, so now Timera can get in. The only problem though is it's going to be difficult. I could do this. So I have Obstruct, engage with Micaiah. Obstruct. This can delay the thief by a turn, so we'll do that. Now there shouldn't be enemies over here. Weirdly, because all of the enemies in this area, once you do the Lucina Bonded Shield, will kind of wrap around and go this way. All right, now we do have to deal with these halberdiers, these pesky halberdiers. Now this Flame Lance, he isn't a big threat. We want to kill the thief. I don't really have damage to work with. Can rotate her. She can attack. Thoron. All right, let's check out this halberdier. 20 speed, 26 magic attack. So she wouldn't take that much damage, so she can move in. I'll have her kill this. I think there's like three or four halberdiers. Yeah, there's, the <laughs> there's quite a few. All right, Saline could be in a bad situation, however, we can dance her out. I could goddess dance here if I wanted to. Let's do it, why not? It's a single target. But that gets us more offense. So I'm all for it. I don't believe the thief will attack me even though I'm right next to him. However, I should probably go like here if I'm going to do this. Alternatively, I can just hit him with fire. That kind of simplifies the position. I will not lose. She can heal. She seems to grab a healing item. Looks like no one has one. <laughs> it's unfortunate. Make sure you have Vuln areas in some of your units just so you need to heal. You can. Alright, so we will dance Ivy. Okay, so I can kill this. The fire slows the other guy down. So I can kill the thief. And then if the enemy flame lance attacks, it'll deal no damage because she's a res tank. Ivy also has good defense, weirdly enough. Yeah, he doesn't double her. He actually doesn't even deal damage to her. <laughs> he literally won't even hurt, like, hurt her. Uh, okay. So, this situation. So we can move here. Just wait. I'll equip a lighter weapon. That way the thief is forced into the light. All right, there's the warriors. So this is basically the rest of the map at this point. Yeah, there's the thief. Nice, I got a crit. Yeah, that bondage shield looks sketchy, but because I have two allies, I have high avoid, so they're not gonna really hit me. Oh my god, I got two crits, I'm so lucky here. This is crazy. You can delay the thief with ice a few turns, but this is literally the rest of the map at this point. This map is kind of crazy. Like as soon as you enter the middle, it just gets worse. So if you want to take your time, if you want to just let the thieves pass, you can. Uh, but if you don't want to let them pass, you want to kill them. Can be a little sketchy to be honest. <laughs> it's kind of, kind of nuts. Now she has AOE. So what she can do is she could freeze, freeze these just to delay them. Now, obviously she has to hit. Hmm, the AoE just hit one of them. How convenient. <laughs> Very convenient. Um, all right, let's do a different strategy. Maybe. So I can delay these with fire and then dive the center. I 
Let's do this. All right. I believe that cuts him off. Yeah. All right. So now, now Ivy can go in. Kill one of these. These wolves are very annoying. I actually hate wolf knights. <laughs> They're my least favorite enemy in the game. They're just too dodgy. They're too dodgy. They have big wolves. It's just not a good time. They need to get out of here. <laughs> I'm probably not going to bonded shield here. I'm probably just going to dive and kill a bunch of things. All right, what do you got for me, Panats? Uh, she needs to be on Warrior. <laughs> it's, it's just not as consistent. 65%, uh, that could happen. Let's go for it, why not? Crit. No, you didn't crit. He crit you, no, that's not how it's supposed to go. <laughs> All right, Obvi whoops. Obviously I'm not gonna allow that. All right, that was an unnecessary risk in some ways. Let's see. I could do this and do like five damage. I find that quad strike is like almost always weak. I don't know what's up with that. Holy crap. All right, that guy hits really hard, so I'm actually kind of scared of him. I think we have to dance her. Get her out of there. Start moving the team over. And then she can debuff the annoying wolf knight. All right, so she can tank the halberd here for sure. So she'll sit here. And then we need to kill this and kill that. And he is in, he is in a pillar, which is <laughs> unfortunate. All right, I don't think all for one's gonna really do us much good here. Now I could do this. I think I might have to burn two engages just to hit him, just so I can kill him. He's in a he's a sword master in a pillar. That's not a good combination. I can understand why it missed, like why the other thing missed. All right, she has to kill this, and she can't. You have to kill this. All right, that's. Maybe better. She just has to hit. Good. Now he can still escape. So if I want to kill this, I have to sandstorm for sure. Come on. No, no sandstorm. Let's try some RNG manipulation. Oh, there's another enemy right there too. Who can conveniently hit her. <laughs> Honestly, this other thief is a, a huge pain to get to. I'm going to undo like Hortensia using the staff. It's it's really annoying to get that second thief. You're gonna you're really gonna be like it'd be much easier just to sit in this corner and just to let it go. But you're gonna be I mean you can entrap it. I guess that's an option. Uh, but like the thing is like even if you do entrap it, you have to get close enough and there's a ton of things like you're fighting you're just fighting so many things that I don't think it's worth it on average. Like it is a skill book, you know great. The Brave Bow, I don't care about, but the skill book is, I would say that's the only item I really care about. Um, now I can... Like, she's in so much danger, just being here. <laughs> Alright, let's see, let's see how far away I can obstruct. Pretty far, actually. Alright, so we can... You can keep obstructing it. That's probably the safest thing to do. Because there's just so many, there's just so many threats here. Like it's very dangerous. This is a very dangerous position to be in, honestly. Uh, to push in and like, so we've killed one thief. So if we can just get to the second one, now obviously the problem is getting to the second one is not exactly easy. So it's quite the situation. 
So we'll kill this guy. Because there's wolf, there's tons of threats. There's like halberdiers, there's wolf knights, there's all these sword masters. There's like tons of things that are going to ruin your day. So if you're just trying to beat the map, if you're struggling with this map, do not just let the thieves go. Honestly, the game, the game basically baits you with these enemies. I don't think it's worth it in general to go after them. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna rotate our team. Uh, we're gonna use. Dragon Vein, we're just going to delay those. And then that guy can still get through. And she's too slow, even on a fast weapon. I guess on a fast weapon, she's not too slow. All right, Anna, you kill this? No. Okay, so we can Brave Axe this again. I have to dance her. I probably have to body block. The sword masters. Now, if the thief keeps attacking the obstruct, it's not moving. Like, if it just attacks this tile again, that's perfect. That's actually ideal. Uh, and then we have to kill all this stuff. So I'd probably want to do something like this. Move there. All right, so she moves in. Goes for the brave. Her hit rate's better now, so that's good. So it's dead. But literally the easiest way to beat this is just to hold this position here after you kill the the entrapped dude and just take your time, let the thieves go. It's usually not even worth it, honestly, to kill the thieves. All right, let me see. All right, so I'm 120 avoid. All right, so that's pretty good avoid rate. So as long as this is killed, we're good. And then I just bonded shield. Ah, oh, that would have been lethal too if the other thing would have hit. He has a bow? Okay, that's fine. Let's check his speed. 22 speed. So he would... So anyone... <laughs> Dude, the Panette Axe build. Oh, it sucks. Alright. I have an alternate strategy. We're gonna hit him with fire. All right, now he can shoot Panette with a bow for 48 damage. She actually still might die, crazy enough. All right, and then she's kinda overextended. The darkness actually screws you up really badly. Yeah, honestly, the second thief is a major pain in the ass, and I don't recommend doing it ever. Unless you have, like, really solid units. Alright, so it looks like they're going after a bad attack, but he easily could have killed Panette, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> but instead, they're going after Chloe because of the chain attack spam. I think they think they have something. I don't know that they do, though, because now they're just suiciding, so that's totally fine by me. But yeah, like the second thief, you're really going to be overextending and you, you're going to need really solid tactics and units to be able to deal with it. And I don't think it's worth it, personally. I think like endgame thief stuff, it matters less and less. It starts to become such a huge problem. Like look at, <laughs> look at how many things I'm dealing with right now, just, just because I want to get some items. I don't think it's worth it at all. <laughs> like it's clearly not. All right, we got another obstruct. All right, we'll just continue. All right, let's see. I'll give her a chance. If she can brave Lance at this time. If she can just get the sandstorm proc. Come on, Timera. You have, so two 33% chances to trigger. She has like a 60% chance to trigger sandstorm. Um, I'm going to RNG manipulate that. Okay, so... This guy needs to die. This is the Silver Lance dude, all right. So, fortunately we can't kill him outright. She needs Bolganon. She usually does have Bolganon in all my runs, but in this run she doesn't for some reason. 
Now there's still a bunch of halberdiers to the northwest. And then the swordmasters largely killed themselves, which I'm very grateful for. They say you should always be grateful. Uh, all right, and then she will stay down here to kind of avoid the flame lance guy. That's really the threat. Her getting stacked out by like the flame lance and some other stuff. Some of these enemies still hit through armor. Some of them have like 50 attack, so you have to be mindful of that. All right, now I think she'll be fine if I do this. I could be wrong. I mean, the enemies aren't close enough, so they shouldn't they shouldn't be able to get through. Like, if an enemy's here, it shouldn't be able to get through this. And this is a lot of tiles to get through. So maybe she gets flame lanced. Uh, then this. All right, so some combats have occurred. So let's see if she gets a sandstorm. She should. Like, it's, it's it has like a 60% chance to appear. Yeah, this is very disappointing. I've been I've been manipulating this a few turns. Uh, we can do this. Uh, she needs to escape. This is her last obstruct. Or at least the thief is damaged. Now you can send in a more reliable unit to one round. Uh, Timera, like right now, she's not fully built, and her sandstorm trigger rate isn't as good as I would like it to be. It's at thirty-two, which is decent. It still has a high chance to occur. But it's not like guaranteed. And I've been wasting just a lot of pulses just trying to manipulate that into happening. Brave Axe Panette, definitely better on Warrior. Crit Panette, definitely better on Warrior. Paladin is okay. Just getting some speed. Just funny. She's not really a unit who gets speed easily. Alright, so we'll start moving towards the Thief. Now, these Halberdiers, they're probably going to be moving towards the center now because of the fire from the previous turn so what i would like to do is just this so they're going to be coming in this way and then chloe uh she could dive i think that's the last enemy i don't know if she can kill this though the javelin no she doesn't have enough damage all right so she might as well get healed or something i'm gonna dance a unit in All right, so she can just go here and I can heal her. Interesting. So he didn't actually attack me because he had suicide. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, so now there's gonna be enemies like here because they're moving this way, so I was right about the rotation. Because the enemies rotate based on fire, so... Alright, now she just gets out. He's just a simple five-move unit versus the six moves, so... He's not gonna have it. Alright. Thank you, Marin. <laughs> yeah, my Tamara, she has some issues right now. I didn't, in this particular run, I didn't really put a ton of resources into her. I upgraded her weapon, but I didn't, like, build her correctly. She kind of, I gave her lance power for some reason. I don't even know why I did that. <laughs> like, it's obviously not good. <laughs> she should have, like, speed plus four or something. I gave her lance power. <laughs> so that's, that's a mistake. Straight up. So don't do that. Uh, all right. I, now, we know there's dudes up here. So we can probably dive. And as long as we reveal the targets, we can kill them. Yeah, so here's the Flame Lance. He's making his guest appearance. Then we'll poke this. With PK Thunder. It's a fun map. Honestly, just going for that second thief really makes it hard. Because the first thief just comes right back to you. And then it's not that bad. And you just hold bonded shield. You just kill a bunch of dudes. It's pretty easy. But if you go for the second thief, it does make it significantly harder. Alright, so... Move you up. Alright, Anna should be able to kill this. Good. Maybe she gets us some money, maybe she doesn't. Nope, no money for us, okay. 
Probably tomahawk this. Yeah, why not? I mean, I'm taking a risk here. I need to. I need to not do that. It's because I'm so close to the end, and it's like, eh, whatever. <laughs> Let's just go for it. Let's go for the tomahawk. Why not? All right. So we stab this. It's ten damage counterattack. Flame lancers are typically weak against a lot of units. It's, it, it's it's a two range, so I might as well hit it point blank. Doesn't matter. Take some space. All right, then the next part is the Gris attack. So we got all the items. Hooray. The next part <laughs> is the Gris attack. Oh, yeah, I do have to kill that guy down there. Finally, level 25. Now we get the buff. So finish clearing out the enemies, or I'm sorry, the next part isn't the Gris attack. You still have to clear out the enemies to the north. <laughs> I like how they put the lights out. They're so annoying, man. It's so annoying. So it's like, just, just stop it. What are you doing? All right, let's get Timera's decks up. But she's having some problems. Luckily, we can fix some of these units now. with uh, that new SP book system, so I can probably still get her speed. Yeah, I can probably get SP books from the well after this and then fix her speed and get rid of Lance Power. Lance Power is not bad, but speed is better, like, let's be real. If you're, if you're hitting for damage, you probably want speed instead. All right, so this guy's gonna be coming in here, so I'll let him get a hit, and we'll just set up a little, whoops. Didn't mean to go that far in. <laughs> Let's dance her out of there. I don't want her to be that close because he might be within hitting range, which he could kill her, so. Yeah, he was. All right. All right we'll let him attack. Yeah, even a sword master hits 15 15 on a tank. That's pretty crazy. And she is level four, so she's a little under leveled. I'll set up a kill for her to level her up to five at least. Oh, maybe not. Maybe she isn't under leveled. <laughs> she got like no XP for that. This is this is like a late game enemy too. Like, chapter twenty is pretty late. It's definitely not early. <laughs> it's, it's pretty far in there. Alright, we got Silver Lance, Silver Lance, 23 speed. So these guys honestly aren't that bad. I can even pull them with like this. Like this. I do like how Panette has Ivy supports. That's kind of nice. Alright, then you... Here. She's gonna get her thing back. So to kill Gris, uh, what I recommend doing is you just clear out this area up here, and then you send in three units to deal with him. You don't want him to teleport, and you might need to use a pulse, so. But you set your whole team up to dive him at his starting position, or his uh, ending position, rather. And then you just have two damage carries that can definitely kill him with another third unit that it, whose purpose is to just reveal him. Uh, so depending on if your unit can one-round him or not, I'd just bring two like damage carries, and you'll, you should be fine. Uh, so right now, Marin's a speed taker, a heartbreaker, and so on. So she would be a good candidate because he has low physical defense. So if you have high speed, you can really pop off. So Marin will be one of the units, probably Marin and maybe Alir. You can also reveal him with a loom, but it's not as good. 
Just kill all these. You can take your time, you can get the engages, you don't have to dive in to the Gris kill immediately. As soon as you remove a health bar from him though, he teleports to the tile, the avoid tile up there. Let's go for this for fun. Let's see if she gets a sandstorm. She's been letting me down this map, so. She needs to quad though. All right, there's a sandstorm. She needs to quad to really make use of her build. So her on Lance power is actually stupid because she needs the speed to consistently quad. And also her engraving is bad. Her engraving increases weight. She probably needs a different engraving. She probably needs this engraving. <laughs> I think these, like I think her, like these two units need to switch engravings to be honest. And I think that would fix Timera plus the speed and then she'd be good to go. So that's really her problem right now. Looks like she procced. Yeah. All right, Panat can kill. I think she's over leveled. She's second sealed, so let's give it to Panat. Let's go for accuracy. Killer Axe is very accurate. It's actually pretty good. All right, so from here, what I would recommend is setting up an easy kill. I've never actually had a unit sit on this, so I'm curious to see if he'll teleport like next to it or if he'll like push them off. I have no idea what will happen. Hopefully it doesn't like crash my game or something stupid. <laughs> but I guess we'll find out. <laughs> so I just I, this map is beaten at this point, but if it crashed my game, that would be very disappointing. All right, so we'll just get everyone into position. You can heal for free by chilling next to your dancer. Uh, Alright, so the units that I want to go attack him. We'll get some of this stuff. Alright. Continue. Alright, so I know his position. So I can actually count out his movement. So he's over here in this exact tile. I'll, I'll, I'll point it out, but he, he might be in, in the lower tile. Depends on where he's at. All right, it's heal. Yeah, I don't know what happens when he, if you have a unit on that tile. I, I, I wonder if he actually will just be off of it. Now there's an easy way to deal with him on the tile, like if you want to increase your hit rate. So I'll show that as well. Just pass a few turns. I just need to heal up. All right, so we start moving down. I'll just send these three flyers. Now, Alir will probably be the person who reveals because I can do the dual assist plus, so it's still contributing. And then both of these will just attack and I think we'll be fine. All right. I can dance her back. So if you just let the thieves go and take your time, this map isn't that bad. And you can easily beat it. Uh, if you want to get the items though, definitely is going to make things a little bit more complicated and a lot harder. All right, so we're almost there. Okay, so he is in this tile, so he has five move, I believe. So one, two, three, four, five. And he has two range, so one, two. So he can hit along this diagonal. An easy way to reveal him would be to go like here. You can also use like a torch. I don't think I actually have torches, so this will be a little interesting, I think. Now let's check. Having a torch does help for sure. Or, you know, a loom or something like that. All right. Okay. I'm going to try moving here. Let's see if it reveals him. 
Okay, he does attack. Alright, so I did count it out right. Oops. Alright, I might not actually be able to reveal him. Okay, so... From here... If I had to put my money on one of these units to kill... It's probably her. Oh, she doesn't have the movement to get there. That's very irritating. Alright. Yeah, honestly, he's kind of a pain in the ass. So... Okay. Let me think about this. I, I don't have any torches, which is probably one of the more annoying things. I might need four units. I might need a dancer. Actually. I might need the dancer. Oops. Alright, so as long as we're around here. Yeah, you can learn from my mistake and bring a torch. I usually do have a torch in my inventory. I don't know why I don't. The torch, so the thing that's dumb is darkness tiles prevent you from moving on them. So you can see I can't move on darkness tiles. So having the torch allows you to get closer. Uh, having Sigurd also helps. So maybe I just rotate Timera down. And I think there was an emblem energy yeah, like over here. All right, so to kill him, let's 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 set up the kill. So let's say we want to run, we can run the dancer. All right, so Anna can deal decent damage. This will be decent damage. This will be decent damage. This is a debuff. Uh, okay, so let's say we mostly kill with Panats and dancing. I can probably rotate one of these units back. Depends on your team comp. This is probably the worst it's ever been for me. Like, I usually am able to set up a kill on him easier. But for some reason, I don't have a single torch in my bank. I think I sold it. I think I had one, but I sold it. So that's what's going on. But the torch makes it much easier. And using Sigurd, like, once you reveal him, Sigurd is your best friend. And then let's check movement. All right, move seven. All right, so these two should reveal, and then these two will have to kill. So we'll do this. This will be very cumbersome and i can move down to like over here this is range is this so yeah, his range is seven so it's kind of annoying and he starts teleporting and being silly and you don't want that So you want to move in as far as you can. Okay, there he is. He's very happy. He's happy to see us. <laughs> He's very enthusiastic. All right, so you pop engage. All right, and then... <laughs> All right, looks like Timera destroys him in a way. I'm actually confused as to what's going on here. Why does she hit him seemingly four times? Or, I'm sorry, five times? What is happening? <laughs> I don't even know. Hold on, why is she hitting him like five times? <laughs> what? <laughs> well, let me see if this is correct. Let me see. What, what is happening right now? <laughs> this is weird. All right, let's see. If, let's see if she gets a sandstorm. She dies on counterattack, so she has to get a sandstorm to kill him. Oh, okay. It just was plus one. It just put plus one. All right, she tra All right, she got him. So it's a health bar off, and then he teleports. <sighs> and then if you can't kill him here, I think he just sits here. So you can actually just like take your time and rotate your entire team back. But if you can kill him here, that's better. All right, so what I'm going to do is simply this. Torrential Roar. So that puts water down on him. It also debuffs him. So now he's very easy to kill. He's debuffed and his ac his uh, void is debuffed. All right, so we just need to put damage on him and then we're good. Sigurd is really good at killing him.
for sure. It's probably the best thing for, for diving him. I think that's what I usually do. I think I usually have Sigurd on Marin or Chloe, and then they are usually one of the ones, like, they'll just kill him. So that's why it was tripping me up that no one could reach him. Because it's just, like, you, as you do maddening runs, you subconsciously put units on certain classes, and you don't even think about it. And when I run Sigurd on Timera, I forget that it's not on one of those other units because I'm doing three runs simultaneously right now, so it's a little confusing at times <laughs> to remember which team has which units, so. All right, you get the idea. Exquisite. I'll probably redo these guides in the future as I learn more about the game, but I think for now this is decent. I think it shows how to beat the map, how to get the items uh, reasonably well. You're gonna have different units than me, but yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful. Uh, also, feel free to drop tactics comments if you have better ways of doing things that are like more logical. Uh, but yeah, thanks for checking this out, and I'll see you in the next one.